Hey you guys, what is up? Today we are in a new filming space. We're actually at the vanity that I get ready at every single day. I kind of wanted to start filming in different places in my house. I'm very sick of the paper backdrops. I like them for things like makeup tutorials and um, things where you really need to be focused in on the makeup and nothing else. I don't know, I just, I really wanna start filming in other places, so I have three little filming spots in my room that I'm gonna start filming at more often, um, get us out of the, the same space we've been in for a couple years. Now, this isn't the most ideal situation because the mirror is not incredibly crystal clear, so this is as clear as the, the footage is gonna be. Hopefully that is okay. Um, I'll see if I can figure out a different space, but I don't want to film like against the mirror, like as a backdrop, because um, the light, obviously, the skylights are in front of me. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm blabbing. I want to do an everyday makeup tutorial. I haven't done one in a very, 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 very long time, like three years. So I thought that we could do it. And um, what better spot than to do it at my little vanity in my bedroom? So. First thing I always do is get my hair out of the way. And so this vanity has these little drawers that pull in and out. You'll see me go in and out of them quite frequently. Has my phone been here the whole time? God dang. So my favorite primer is the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. Um, it just makes my, fit, my skin feel like super, super hydrated. I just like the fact that it's a primer and a moisturizer. For foundation, I've been loving the NYX Total Control Foundation. I like this because it can be full coverage or it could be just minimal coverage. It depends on how you use it. It's so funny because I, I uh, used a full coverage foundation the other day. I filmed a little Instagram tutorial with it and oh my god, I absolutely, like okay, it was amazing coverage and for the kind of person that would love like a full coverage foundation, it would be amazing and considering it's drugstore, also amazing, but um, for me and for my skin, I don't like a full coverage foundation, so for me, I was like holy crap. Feels like I have so much makeup on. I also wanted to say, you guys, I'm so excited about YouTube. Um, I haven't felt this way in a really long time. I think even times when I said I, I did feel this way, I don't think I did. I'm like super excited and uh, all the content that I'm filming, I'm filming every single day or editing or posting or, you know, doing Instagram. Instagram has never been something that I ever cared about um, because when I first started, like Instagram wasn't a thing. Uh, <laughs> I had this weird, like my 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 Instagram used to, if you go, if you scroll back far enough, you'll be able to see it. it. Used to be just like this outfit of the day Instagram. It was so weird. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape. This is in Fair Neutral. So my Instagram and my YouTube, for so long, they weren't linked. I didn't tell anyone that I had, that who was on my Instagram that I had a YouTube and vice versa. And then I was like told by like my management and stuff that like I should start caring about my Instagram and so, I did sort of last year, but I never like, I never was like, oh, I have to post every day or, oh, I have to have a theme or anything of that nature. And now that I do care, like I, I don't care to the extent where it's like, uh, it's driving me crazy or I live my life around it, but it's so nice to be able to like give you guys content and talk to you guys when, you know, when I'm not actually filming. So if you guys haven't noticed, you should go check out my Instagram and see how I kind of have this like warm pink green kind of theme. Yeah, also I have a posting schedule for YouTube. I'm posting every Wednesday and every Sunday. And if you see a video that is not posted on Wednesday or Sunday, it's just an extra. I'm probably gonna do extra videos. If I do a sponsored YouTube video, then there will probably be an extra video that week just to, you know, keep content flowing and keep it all good. Okay, and then next up, we're gonna be using the Wet n Wild um, contour palette. This is like my favorite, favorite thing to set my eyes with. My brush is over here in this drawer. Let me know if you guys would like to see a vanity tour. Do you know what's funny is I feel less stressed filming in my bedroom. I don't know why um, my office, it just kind of makes me feel stressed whenever I film and I think it might be the lights. Like I always have these bright friggin lights in my face so it might have something to do with that. I'm gonna put this away. I'm gonna try to keep it neat up here for you guys. Next up is brows. I kinda wanna go get a different color brow pencil. Okay, so this is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is shade four, I've been using shade five for so long and it was the wrong shade. Now, I know like with this spot, you don't get like the perfect close up of my eyes and, and stuff like that. So any kind of like intricate makeup tutorial that I do, I will film that 
in my office. But this is just like an everyday, you don't really, it's not intricate at all. So like I'm okay with filming this far away and not having that shot. I just feel like I should say that from the get go. So this brow pencil is the bomb. It replaced the Anastasia one, which I was using forever and I didn't think anything could replace that, but this did because it's so much more pigmented. I've been growing my brows out, like I said, um, and I filmed it like, just kind of filmed it every couple of weeks so you guys can see how much they've grown. And then eventually I'm gonna go and get them threaded and re-basically styled. I kind of just wanna have like bushy, um, tinted brow gel, normal brows. I don't really want like super defined brows anymore. You know what's another reason why I'm growing my brows out is cause like I kind of wanna get them microbladed, but I kind of wanna see like, do I have hairs in the areas I want microbladed? Because if I do, then why? And so far, like honestly, I kinda do. Something else that I absolutely love is this Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. Oh my gosh, this is holy grail, a thousand percent. This front of my brow never stands up. This stuff makes it stand up. I usually leave it out and then in, a, in like a minute, I'll like go back through it. Next up, I take Revitalash. I used to have really, really long lashes because Revitalash is I've been sent, if you haven't seen my review, I'm gonna link it up in the corner right now and I'll also put it down in the down bar. Yeah, I try to use it like when I remember to, which is not all that often. This is the Benefit, oh, I just smacked myself, Cheek Parade palette. This palette is like amazing. Just because I like having everything in one place, I kinda hate having to open the individuals. I'm gonna take my, M, my Morphe M308 brush. I got new brushes recently, you guys. I'm gonna do a review on them. They're by Zoeva, so. I, but I'm not using those because I haven't used them yet and I don't wanna use them in this video and then be like, oh, I have no idea how to use these. I'm just gonna dip into the hula and for some reason, weird habit, I go like this, I feel like it dumbs down, I don't, I don't know, does anyone else have things like that? On my last stroke, I bring down my chest. Okay, after bronzer is applied, I usually have a piece of paper just like sitting down around randomly. I dip it into hula and I take this piece of paper. I kind of use it just as like a guide just so that I don't over put, put too much shadow. Now you can literally hear the dog eating. I don't know if you guys know how my room is set up. My bedroom's like a loft, so in front of me is skylights and then it looks down into the kitchen. That's what you're hearing right now, the puppy having Lunch. I love using the same color bronzer on my eye. I think it's just really a cohesive look and it looks really pretty. Merly, can you chew with your mouth closed? Whatever remaining shadow I have on my brush, I just kind of bring it under. And then I'm gonna go in with mascara, use the Benefit Roller Lash. Just love the brush. And there's always lashes somewhere. And if there aren't, then I'll go and get new lashes. Like right now there's three lashes. So let's see if any of them match. And then I just take this duo glue. Now, I need to know what is a better glue than duo? What is the glue that everybody loves and swears by that's not duo? Because I always hear duo being put down, but what is the better one? Could someone please tell me? I don't hate duo. By the way, these are the Kiss number 11 lashes. I keep a thing of makeup wipes in here. These are my favorite ones. Love and Beauty, they're Grapefruit and they're from Forever 21. So then I'm going back into Hula on a smaller brush. And I actually use this to contour. I guess I'm not supposed to because it's not a cool tone, but YOLO, it's makeup, there's no rules. I just said YOLO. So for blush, I've recently switched it up. So I'm gonna show you both of what I used to do. I used to take California and Rockateur and I used to mix them together and that would be my blush color. Lately, I've been loving this. This is the Clinique Cheek Pop number five. This one is Nude Pop. First of all, it's the cutest thing ever. Second of all, it's a beautiful color. Pop some of that on my cheeks. I really, really like nude. Can you tell? And then I take like a, dab of California. Next, I would probably fake my contour. So let's pull out this baby again. I've never used that shade. I used once in a first impression like two years ago, but never since. Then I'll go, go into highlight. The highlight that I absolutely love is by Sleek Makeup, but it's called Cleopatra's Kiss. It's my favorite highlight it's of all time. It's the most amazing thing ever, but it was stolen um, when I lost all my stuff. So right now what I'm using for highlights is this Anastasia Glow Kit in 
of sugar and I use this butterscotch color. And then I also go into this sleek makeup in Solstice and I take this one and I just pop it on to make it a little bit brighter. I'm gonna use the Sigma Tapered Highlighter. This is F35 on my nose. Pop it on. Usually by now, I can wipe this off. Just gonna wipe this down. Okay, last step is lips. So I have been loving. These are the Hourglass, don't know what they're called, but they look like this. Anyways, it's super, super high pigment, but it's in like a very small, like compact formula. I bought two and then Jordan bought me two for Christmas. So this one is called I've Never. I love this cause I don't need a lip liner. It's okay if I eat with it. I'm so jealous of all the influencers that got this as a PR package cause they're literally my favorite lipsticks and I wish I could own them all slowly but surely we're getting there okay i am gonna hop out and do my hair and then i'll be right back okay you guys so this is my final makeup i hope that you guys enjoyed it it's either this or nothing there's like no in between very simple glowy nude you know the the whole whole nine yards thank you guys so much for watching um i hope that you have an amazing day bye guys